Hi everybody from the DNC Digital Studio in downtown Rochester. I'm Julie Phillips, Senior Engagement Editor, and we have a double header for you tonight. Uh, we have um, from Garth Fagan Dance, we have Norwood Pennewell right now, Hello. because Garth Fagan runs with Garth Fagan's own time, and he's gonna <laughs> show up in a little while. So we're gonna, do, we're gonna talk to PJ first, and then we'll talk to Garth uh, probably around 8.30 this evening. So welcome, Thank we're glad you. to Thank have you. you. For those of mm -hmm. you who do not know who PJ, I'm going to call you PJ, but officially mm -hmm. he's Norwood, is he is a longtime Garth Fagan dancer, choreographer, rehearsal director, and a Bessie Award winner. Absolutely. So he's, he's an all-around great guy. Um, now you began choreographing for Garth maybe four or five years ago? Um, was a, I want to say seven years ago, because this is my longer. sixth piece, and I did not choreograph the year that we did uh, Lighthouse Lightning Rod. Okay. That, right, so. Now, I remember but, in the beginning, um, you, you put a lot of pressure on yourself because you had mm -hmm. to kind of maintain the Garth Fagan style, but you wanted to have sort of your own footprint mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that was difficult, although the results were amazing and very well Thank received. You. Thank you. I know mm -hmm. the, the work that you put into that was very difficult for you. Has that gotten easier over the yeah, years? Yeah, it's gotten a lot easier. So as you can imagine, working with Garth at that point for, so that would have been 30, 31 years. It's amazing considering <clears throat> you're only 29. Yeah, you know? I know. Well, you know, he grabs you soon. He grabs you right out of the cradle. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and he gets you right out there. But yeah, no, working, uh, as he says, uh, as his muse for 31 years at that point, um, then getting a nod to try to make my own statement. It was, a, it was definitely a pressure sensitive moment. Um, but at the same time, he said, you know, don't put that kind of pressure on you. You're not expected to be me. I'm expecting to be you. But also understand that I want you to make the same mistakes that everybody that's starting out makes. So you just go in the studio and you do what you think you need to do. And I'm not going to have a word to say. You just, um, I trust that you'll come up with something credible. And, um, you know, and it turned out that uh, he would maybe come in and say, okay, <clears throat> as far as the stage picture is concerned, you might need to bring somebody a little bit further on stage so the people in house left will be able to see that action. Mm -hmm. But he never ever uh, had anything to say about content, uh, music, uh, costuming, lighting, or anything like that. He just said, do your thing. And uh, so, yeah, it's gotten a lot easier now. Um, but I still feel like I want to try to impress him. You know, it's dad, and you know, I'm, right. I'm trying mm -hmm. to follow in his footsteps. But he seems to be pleased up to this point. So yeah, yeah, I'm really happy, and it's gotten a lot easier. Okay, <coughs> so let's get right to the piece that you're premiering a little bit later this month, right here in Rochester this time. Mm -hmm. I got to ask you why. Normally, uh, at least in the past few years, you've been opening your seasons at the Joyce the in Joyce, New York right. City, but we get the opening. Yeah, night no, I'm this really year. excited about that. Um, I'm not really sure what I could tell you about why we're not at the Joyce. It's it's something that it's has, a story. It's an administrative okay. issue right. and it's a story. But <laughs> seriously, I, but I don't, I'm not really thrilled. sure. We're glad. Right? Yep. So, but then there's also that mm -hmm. caveat that we will be able to um, do our world premieres. Um, Garth is also, as you will probably get to. Um, premiering a piece also. But yeah, we uh, get to do the world premieres in, in Rochester, right at Nazareth, at the, with the home uh, crowd there supporting us. Um, so uh, it'll be interesting because we do get that time um, usually a month before we come back to uh, Nazareth to kind of shake things out, right. get the nerves out, kind of, you know, dust off whatever needs to be uh, sorted out and f do some more fine tuning. So you're gonna see the baby the minute she comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so ready to right, catch. that's right. All right, right. You know, all right. so baby. tell us about your baby. <clears throat> well, um, it's called a moderate cease, and uh, it's it's not really too terribly deep. Uh, I'm I'm st a lot of people ask me, you know, so what is your pieces? Of, what are, what are your pieces about? The and inspiration, right? Exactly. Um, in terms of the content, or if I'm trying to tell a story, I'm still I still feel like I'm relatively new at the storytelling aspect. So what I'm doing is just trying to come up with something that's credible, uh, that's coherent, um, and that you will really want to try and follow and enjoy whatever you can visually and enjoy how that movement will play against the music. And uh, I got a new costumer this year, um, Keiko Voltari, so that she's going to bring another element to it. But um, it's basically a play on words. The tempo markings for the first piece, well actually I should tell you what the piece is. Um, okay. I was inspired heavily by the music which is the William Walton Cello Concerto. 
Um, and it's, uh, the cellist is Stephen Isserlis, and it's the Philharmonia Orchestra, uh, a mm -hmm. London group. And um, I was wanting to use classical music this time just as a challenge. And so I went on iTunes, uh, I talked to a, a bunch of classical friends, and they gave me ideas. And so when I did eventually go to iTunes and, and sussed out all this information, <clears throat> I was kind of moved by the first couple of um, strains of the music that I heard, but I just put it aside and I put it in a pile of, I'm gonna come back to that. How so, many pieces did you listen to? Oh man, um, oh, I can't I remember, probably 40 pieces. Wow. Uh, and I wanted something orchestral, but I wanted it to play like, like chamber music. I didn't want it to be too lush, but at the same time, I also wanted it to have the ability to go into something more you know, rounded mm -hmm. and more full. Mm -hmm. Um, so I got back to my maybe stash of 10 that I thought, okay, maybe these will work. And then the minute I heard this piece, I was like, oh, okay, I don't need to listen anymore. I really, okay. I really fell in love with it. So I was really um, very inspired. But the first section of the piece, the tempo marking is moderato. So it's to, pe it's to be played at a moderate tempo. And then I'm using six people which is okay. six in French, so I just, right. it's just a play on words. Um, but there is a lot of ebb and flow, so you will see that there is a kind of cessation every now and then, which will tie into the C's, the C-E-A-S-E. So. Um, then uh, I wanted to use fewer people, so I just used six people because I, I just, it's just, that's a lot dealing with it. I, you know, initially I wanted to try and use everybody, and you know, I just want to be, ev I wanted everybody involved, but <clears throat> This time I thought, let me use fewer people and let me spend a little bit more time with each individual person mm -hmm. to come up with a little bit more of an idiosyncratic um, statement and then have them all work together and see how that works out. So, um, of course, it was absolutely necessary and inevitable that I work with Sade Bully, who yes. is, m I consider my muse, and I've uh, featured her really three incredible. times. Really incredible, and we just ran an article about her. Yeah, you she did. Our woman yeah, you to did. Watch, and it, it was very well received. People were so Good. surprised because Good. they love seeing her up there, but she has an no incredible idea. story. Yeah, I know. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, a medical doctor, so she, she decided to put that on hold, and um, and delve into dancing, and I'm so glad that she did, and I'm so glad she ended up with us. But um, mm -hmm. so she's the highlighter in highliner in this piece. Um, I also I want I was thinking about this, and I was almost going to ask you before I came on, and I forgot. No, but I'm camping it. Sorry. <laughs> There's I'm still busy. time, though. I mean, I figured that you were a little busy, but I'd save a little space for you so that you, because oh, I know you're a quick study, so I wasn't worried about that. But okay, so in the event that you can't, um, no, I was going to ask you if Vitolio was with us last year at Nazareth, because you know he went he went away for a little while. I he took a leave of absence. I think anyway, he was. I think he was. Yes, last year. He went year. away, but he's back now. And we also have Guy Thorne, who's back with us, who had his mm -hmm. own company, and he put that on hiatus for a little while just to come in um, and contribute for Gar. So that's great. So the two of them will also be featured. And um, we have Adrian Barber, uh, Andrew David, Nina, the Prince, and who am I missing? I'm probably missing somebody. Is that six people? I don't know. I wasn't counting, but okay. with me in I'm there might be somebody. seven. <laughs> <laughs> My face, right. Okay. Right. So at any rate, anyway. um, yeah, it was really just a response to uh, the music and uh, that I wanted to do something else to sort of highlight, you know, Sade's talents at, at this point. And, uh, and the rest of the group too. Mm -hmm. So, am I missing somebody? Sounds I'm going to be incredible. so embarrassing. I'm embarrassed yeah, you will be. And we can always so Shade, into the Guy, two. Vitolio, Adrian, Three. Nina, and Andrew. Great. You are no, I got you're him. missing. That was I'm missing? five. <clears throat> It'll come to you later. Let's keep talking because everybody's watching. This is PJ thinking. <laughs> Who am I missing? That's terrible. <laughs> now I got to ask you what you're thinking. Earlier Listen. this year, you went home for the first time. To Schenectady, New York. Right. You mm -hmm. had not <clears throat> performed there since you were a youngin. Right. And Never you, with Gar. You went back mm -hmm. and performed in a theater that you used to watch movies in. Is that Did what I, I read? You? Oh, you no, read I that. read it. It was okay. in. The, I think it was in the. Because I tell you things sometimes. Paper. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me this. But <laughs> what was that like? I didn't tell you. Oh, it was. It was incredible. It was incredible. Uh, yeah. That's so, like your whole life, kind of flashing. Yeah. Your absolutely. Eyes. Absolutely. In fact, um, we had an opportunity to do a master class at my high school, and my high school didn't have a dance department at that point. So it was just uh, amazing uh, to be back in the high school. Just. Just period. So you know, I had to do that sort of tour around, and I just spent some time and found the, the theater where um, I actually got started. 
in theater and just kind of reminisced there for a good 15 minutes and uh, just went to different areas in the, in the school. Um, so yeah, that was really uh, just an amazing moment and I got in touch with some old teachers and some, um, some old some dear friends of mine that I hadn't seen in such a long time. Uh, so I, it, was, it was very emotional and it was very, I was very proud to bring back to Schenectady what it was that, uh, that I've been doing for the last you know, 35 years um, and the response was great and <clears throat> I hadn't been in that theater, the Proctor's Theater, I hadn't been in that theater for at least, oh God, 40 years so it was really wonderful to see that it had been restored to its old glory. It was an old vaudeville house um, and it went through the same scenario that most of those houses did where it, you know, it was in decline and then it was um, uh, turned into a you know, CD movie house, then they started to uh, bring in nicer movies, but, um, but I saw so many martial arts movies in there and came <laughs> home jumping around and thought I was a martial arts artist after that, but, uh, but it was just an incredible experience to get back and, um, and, and see the, 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 home, the home crowd. It was, it was awesome. Well, it's yeah. been quite a ride, and we, yeah. we look forward to uh, seeing this. Now, this begins November 30th? 30th. Is that the yep. first night at mm -hmm. Nazareth, and there's a few nights, and you can get tickets where? This is a question. Where should people go to get their tickets? Well, um, I'm sure should you could get a Garth hold of, of us at Garth Fig and Dance. Nazareth Performing Arts Exactly. Center. You could also, you could also okay. get in co contact with the box office so. at Nazareth Art Center. Maybe we could put a link <coughs> when we post this on our, our webpage. I, I we'll put a link. Yep. Since <laughs> I was you just assuming like that you would probably put a link. worst <laughs> ticket salesman <laughs> ever. No, no. So. You guys got to come to the show. You have to come to the show. Yes, but, and there's yes. obviously ways that you can get tickets and you should... So you should explore those uh, <laughs> avenues, yes. which definitely one would be uh, visiting GarthFingerDance.org or calling the office 454-3260. You could also get a hold of the people at Nazareth at the uh, Callahan Theater. And, and you know, we have Jeff Spivak writing a story about it too, so yeah, I he's bet a story. it will also be you in our so? article. You we'll probably so? tell people too. Okay. So thank awesome. you so thank much. Thank you so much. It's great this to see you. This has been round one this evening. We are still waiting for Garth Fagan to arrive. So mm -hmm. we will be back on Facebook Live in just a little while with our friend Garth. And, and I wanted to thank Norwood PJ Penwell for being wow. here. This and thank you, thank you, step. thank you, DNC, for building this wonderful building for Julie to come <laughs> as incentive. That was so sweet of you. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>